Hi, welcome back to The Roundtable. I'm your host, Stephen, and today I'll be talking about the latest episode of The Mandalorian. This is episode 7. It's called The Spies. This is the episode we needed a lot more of this type of quality in this season. I think most of us agree this is a hit and miss kind of season. I think the last episode, a lot of people did not like it. I thought it was decent, and that's being kind. But this one kind of brings it back to what we expect the Mandalorian to be. Lots of action, you know, drama, you know, comedy, you name it. A, a Star Wars adventure. And we got it here. And I, I think it's they're, they're back on the right track. But is it enough not to save this third season? I don't know. Hopefully this last episode capitalizes again. And we have this great, you know, it ends it off on a good note. So... It looks like they're capable of writing these good episodes, but I don't know what's happening this season. They kind of go hit and miss, right? So, what I liked about it. Let's start off one of the open scenes with, um, I think it's Aaliyah Kane, who gets to talk to Moff Gideon. The The surroundings, very Blade Runner-ish. I like that. that the, the scene itself, the way it was shot was really great. I love that. That was good. Seeing the Shadow Council, how they're trying to bring back the Empire into power. They're mentioning the return of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, like that, the uh, Necromancer Project, which is, you know, people are saying it's, you know, the cloning of the Empire where he returns. Or Snoke. Whichever it is. Is interesting. So it's I like that, that they're mentioning it. It's pretty cool. I like that. Now, IG-11, which was supposed to be, there was the battle droid, one of the bounty hunters in the first season that sacrifices itself. They, you know, the Mandalorian tried to bring him back, tried to reprogram him, and we know it doesn't, doesn't work. So they made the IG-12, and Grogu kind of sits in it and makes it function, makes it walk. And like the idea, I thought that it was comedy gold with with grogu you know hitting the butt going yes 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 no 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 comedy gold but the story itself of ig11 coming back and not now it's he's not coming back i thought that was a weird weird thing to do but that's that's me that's my take on that one besides that that they want to retake mandalore Yeah, I get what they want to do, but they seem to send like a small war party. Like you don't know what's going down there. It's it's I don't know. A lot of stuff is not thought out. Like you know, they don't have enough people down there. You know, they want to retake Mandalore. You you send almost everybody. You know, you send them down there to you take over your planet. You don't send forty guys and hope for the best. I don't know. That that was a little weird. I didn't think that worked out for me. Now, this undergraded character, Baz Veska. A lot of people are complaining he didn't die a proper death or it's a missed opportunity. I'm going to disagree. He sacrificed himself to save his friends so they can fight another day. This is the way. And then he... Destroys a whole garrison of these Baskar shielded or armored stormtroopers. You know, it was heroic. And then he gets killed by not one, not two, but three Petoran guards. These are the red ones that I think we see in The Last Jedi. Is it the same three? I don't know. I thought it was a heroic death. I thought it was you know, admirable, and it, it was the way. So, yeah, I had no issue with the way he died. I think if he would have died by somebody, you know, cheap-shotting him, shooting him in the back, yeah, I would have been. This was, he went after them all, got them, and then took three of these guys to put them down. So he didn't go down easy, and I think that's what is to show the relentlessness of the Mandalorians. They're not going to go down easy. This is going to be a fight. And it's going to be a fight till their last breath. And I think that was, it was heroic in, in every sense. So I am in disagreement with people saying that he didn't die properly. He did. 
it was great, heroic, and the way it should be. All in all, I'm going to say I enjoyed this episode. I think this is a return to the quality that we deserve. Hopefully, like I said, the last episode capitalize it, capitalizes on this and continues and ends it off on a good note. Again, now we have um, Dan Jin kidnapped or, you know, taken hostage. What's going to happen? I don't think they'll kill him. There's a season four. So, but it's pretty cool. I like that. So there's a lot going on. The Shadow Council, um, you know, Moff Gideon, what are his major plans? He's got a lot going on. These Praetorian guards, what are they, what's up with them next? If Grand Admiral Thawne shows up in this last episode, then we know there's going to be trouble. Not just for the Mandalorians, but I think there's going to be a power struggle between Thawne and, and, and Moff Gideon. And all I can say is, um, the last thing I can say is Giancarlo Esposito, who plays Moff Gideon, he plays this guy so good. This guy, whatever he does... He does them good. I mean, this guy just steals the screen, you know? I love that. So all in all, I'm going to say it's a great, great episode. It's a return to form. It's what we needed after the lackluster episode, the prior episode. So in my opinion, I think this is a step in the right direction. Is it too late to save this season? I don't know. I think if the, if the next one is just as good or better, then they may save it. You know, we'll just take the two or three up that were like, eh, and we won't watch them anymore, you know. But other than that, this is what Star Wars is about, you know. And I, I thought it was really great. So I think The Spies is probably, up to this point, the strongest episode of the season. Not that it had much to go up against, but that's me. So this is Steven with my initial thoughts on this episode. Let me know what you think. So if you haven't hit that like button, please do. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We'd love to hear from you. Participate in this conversation that I'm trying to have with everybody out there. Been a Star Wars fan since I'm a kid. You know, I always will love Star Wars. So this, I always have, I have hope that this will continue to be, get better eventually. I know that there's a couple hiccups in this season, but it looks like they can deliver a, a great episode if they want to. But like I said, they want to milk it as long as they can. They want to go five seasons. There's going to be a few wishy-washy episodes. And we got to take it. You know, because I think if we just leave the Mandalorian, we'll have no Star Wars. Because we didn't have Star Wars for a long time. And I missed it. So I, I want to keep it going. So, But that's me. And this is Steven from the Roundtable saying this is the way. <laughs>